I'm going to show you how to make this lovely washcloth, face cloth, dish cloth, call it whatever you want. It's really, really easy. These make wonderful gifts and it's great to idle away an hour or so while you're watching your favorite TV show. Um, the only thing to remember is make sure to use cotton when you're making one of these. Knit as tight as you can and have fun making it and have fun giving it away as a gift or keeping it for yourself. So here we go. We're going to tie the thread around and then we're going to cast on four stitches. And if you don't know how to cast on, watch my videos on how to cast on. But one, two, three, and four. Boom. First row, we're going to knit all four stitches. One, two, three, four. Now, I'm going to turn the work around and we're going to knit two, yarn over, and knit two. Turn the work around, do the same thing, knit two, yarn over, and knit to the end. You see we're adding stitches as we go, making this triangle. We're going to keep repeating this until we have 37 stitches. Knit two, yarn over, and knit. That's it. Remember, knit tight, use cotton. So just as I said, keep doing this, repeating this row, every row until you have 37 stitches. So I have my 37 stitches and now I'm going to do the opposite of what we've done before. I'm going to decrease. Now some of you with very good eagle eyes might notice that I have changed the needle that I was working on earlier. And the reason I did that was I didn't think that the stitches were tight enough. So you know you just have to play around with your yarn and see how you want to do. You want to definitely have tight stitches when you're doing this dishcloth or washcloth. Okay? So for the decrease we're going to knit one and of course I always slip that. Then we're going to knit two together and we're going to do a yarn over and again knit two together. So we've done the decrease and now we're just going to knit all the stitches. Knit across the row all the stitches till you come to the end of the row. And there's the last stitch which I always knit in the back and then we're going to turn the work and we're going to do exactly the same thing. Knit the first stitch which I always slip, knit two together, yarn over, and knit two together. And knit all the rest of the stitches all the way across the row and you just keep repeating this row until you have four stitches left on the needle just like when we started. So this is going to be the last row. I'm going to slip, going to knit these two stitches together. I'm going to do yarn over and knit the last two stitches together. So now that's four stitches and I'm going to do the bind off. If you don't know how to bind off, you can watch my video on how to bind off. It's very simple. Just take one, go over, and one, go over, and the last one over. Now 
I'm finished. I just have to cut that off and I will do that. But look at this beautiful, beautiful face cloth, washcloth, dish cloth, <laughs> whatever you call it. It's so easy and you know you can do this same technique and make this much bigger and make a blanket be very, very beautiful. So give this a try. Start on the triangle, make it bigger, make it smaller, turns into a square. It's really good for exfoliating and um, very simple. So be sure to do all the social media stuff. Contact me, like me, subscribe to me, comment to me, and give this a try. Happy knitting everyone.